Good afternoon and welcome to match number 67 of the Hero Eye League. It is Sudeva Delhi FC who host the pride of Mizoram. Aizol FC at the Chhatrasal Stadium Delhi at number 12 with two points in their bag after 10 matches. Sudeva lie down at the bottom while Aizol at the middle of the table, 7th position after 11 matches. The lineup for Sudeva Delhi FC then. A similar lineup uh, which they fielded against uh, Real Kashmir and almost won their first three points. The lineup of Aizol FC, a very, very different uh, looking Aizol FC in the form of a 3 5 2. Well, even in their previous game, Sudeva did take the lead but couldn't win the game. Similar story for Aizol FC in their previous fixture. Matthias Veron and Kim Kima both are on the pitch. Kim Kima, of course, uh, leading the Aizol FC side. That's Kim Kima and uh, Sudeva in white. We were talking to Shankarlal Chakravarti. And he'll be the one. Sudeva will be hoping to score goals and uh, get them the lead. And uh, they are right now also uh, as well at the fifth position. And on with the game then. Sudeva eyeing for their first win, which they came so close to in their previous fixture. As you rightly mentioned, uh, of course, it was a golden period for the Aizol uh, football. Who worked with the young boys, Manoranjan. Oh. Little bit of high boot there. The referee lying very close. Look at that. And rightly adjusted, he's gone into the books of the referee. A yellow card for Manoranjan. Lochim trying to get on the ball. That's a, a foul and might be a card as well for Maria from where he could have delivered. Yeah, that was a challenge from behind directly into Lochim. And of course, referee can't miss that. Use of the elbow as well. The masterminds from the bench play a role. Henry Kiseka with a wonderful pass forward. A chance for Silo. And a brilliant tackle that by Sujit Sadhu. Look at that. Anything wrong could have given a number of touches as well. Very surprising. And here's Lord Jim with a chance. Hits the crossbar. Still danger on. Collected by Moon Sangha. Sudeva Delhi. Look at that. A great one. Right footer. Absolutely no clue for the keeper. Moon Sangha. Struck the cross piece and came back to play. Unfortunate, truly. Has Francis and Lochem in support will go for the shot. Still has a chance. And now Lamna with the first time effort. Should have taken an extra touch. Another chance and this time it will fly wide. And quick on the break. Savkati could have done well. Went to the near post. And that ricochet Lamna again blocked well. And finally that uh, right footer. Poor execution are always dangerous. Those left-footed deliveries are venomous. Here's one more of them. Straight to Sachin Jha, who punches it out. Uh, Silo. Now, this was... Uh, he was working on the angle, of course. But Sachin had it covered. And just punched it away. Akito to Kim Kima. Some uh, more seconds have been allowed. But finally, it's uh, half-time. And Sujit Sadhu have been, has been solid at the backer. There's the stats at halftime. Well, of course, they enjoyed uh, the better of exchanges. And, of course, the position was in favor of the team in white. And on with the second half. Lojum came close to scoring for Sudeva in the first half. And Henry Kiseka, two pokes it past the keeper. Is it 1-0? Has the flag stayed down? Yes, indeed. It's 1-0 for Aizol. It's Henry Kiseka. Henrik Kiseka, absolutely poor defending by Sujit Sadhu. And just a faint touch by Henrik Kiseka because the keeper was quickly out of the line. And uh, no chance that he could get. Pass to defenders. Tarpuya to Silo. Lobs it. And that's a marvellous goal at Aizol FC. Brilliant. Extraordinary build-up. What a great setup there. Tarpuya setting him up. And Shantia Silo through the far post. And that's the reason. He's got chance into the international side. The Sodding Liana with that delivery. It's a dangerous one. And narrowly misses the far post. And uh, here's a replay. Very nearly. No, not really. But uh, Consistency across in once again. Header of the crossbar. This time from Aizol FC. And it's the same end of the field. Finally, it's set off well by Buanga. And lovely header. But look at the white shirts, the defenders. They allow a free header. Once again, here's Carlos. It's 2-1. He was looking to score. He almost came near hitting the post. Now he has. It's 2-1. Shafkati and finally that setup. He's never going for power. He's always going for precision. 
and through the far post. So it's truly unlucky that he didn't get his first one. It also struck the upright, but a great finish, clinical. So the substitutes have combined along with Shafkati to hurt Aizawal FC. It's 2-1 and Sudeva are still in the game. Well, it is a goal kick and there goes the final whistle. Sudeva should again feel a little unlucky. Seven shots, three on target. So is Aizawal FC. And there's the hero of the match with his goal number five, Henry Kiseka.